boom, 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 boom. Dun, dun. Testing one, two, three. Good lord. I say, I say, old friend. I say, come again. Come again to all. Oh dear. Oh dear. Testing one, two, three. Testing. One moment. Hello sunshine, how do I sound? Good to see you, Captain. E gets. Sorry, one moment. Let me just do this. This will help me by managing it like this. There we go. Welcome to another Starfield stream. This game has ruined my life. Almost four days worth of gameplay. And nothing to show for it. Yes, I am. I just sit here staring at it, even when sleeping. Oh, yummy. Cappuccino. Right, enough of that shit. Right, what was I lost doing? I'm on fucking Mars. Mars! Crap. Why is that in my inventory? Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I need to dump this into the ship since that costs like 10 of my weight. I'll grow up. Oh, sunshine.
There we go. That's my typical uh, light snack that I have every day. You look well. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal. What the? F right. What was I doing? I'll find the heart of Mars. That's what I was doing. It's in this cave. The sound just cut out for a moment there. Where's the Beagle 2 Mars Rover? Show me some sustenance. Another dead rock. Mm. Well, at least we can scour the place for materials. Hello, good to see you, mate. Cave. Let's go. What is that? of Mars added. But what is it? Dead end. Typical. monsters in here Oh is it? Oh I didn't know. it for this cave.
drifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Now let's go. Engines firing. Here we go. Achieving orbit now. Stars. Take my book on <laughs> Dracula. I don't use any of these throwables. Always. What else did I have to give some weapons? Oh, you're out of money already. The lady I was looking for. Not everyone used to come to me with their problems. It wouldn't last a week in the mines. Psychiatrist. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Oh, what? Can't a guy just be friendly like? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? I'm just trying to help Trevor. You're right. I didn't want to bring it back. So I took it. What? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. 
So screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment, the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Isn't there a better way to get out of your contract? No. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? Who cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. How could you do that to your co-workers? How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. True. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them. And all they do is laugh and talk behind my back. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, <coughs> that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This whole planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. Tell you what, you give me the equipment that no one ever needs to know. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. You should know I'm well armed. Relax, Hotcha. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Okay. bad about taking the stuff. Will you hurry up? We're almost there. Not really. Where's your spacesuit? Sir, you got a spacesuit? You're about to open the airlock. You better not be lying about what you said back at the bar. Let me out. Should not go for a light jog, sir. It's a lot quicker. so loud sometimes you know and I got good hearing so I overheard you all talking about this equipment I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it and then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan hmm.
How much longer we got, buddy? I'm on a tight schedule here. Selling this stuff, what do you think? 500 grand? Cool bill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> what was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? I would have found you anyway. I would have got you up, slashed you open and slept inside you, like a torn torn. That's your ship, is it? Idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. Eh? I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it. Save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? This better be a legit ship you got. Pirates, which is good. What was that sound? All right, that's enough. Now face me, so I have to shoot you in the back. Shoot me, why? You didn't think I'd just reveal my plan, and then let you walk away while knowing everything, did you? Damn, you're dumber than I thought. We don't have to do this, Hank. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. I know you're angry and scared, Hank. What are you, well. some sort of head doctor? Shut the hell up! You don't know anything about me! That's true. Killing me won't save you. Not if well. I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I look like a hero. Crap, crap. I got one, <laughs> one more shot. Uh. Oh. Hmm. It's not too late to walk away from this. Well, I'm not the one needs to be worried about that. Sorry, but I gotta do this my way, and that means you need to die. Oh, no, 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 This actually is ship. Oh, 
watchdog. I know this looks bad, especially with me running with this blade, but I can assure you the good news is I've recovered the equipment. Alex gone to his siege McGee's. Uh, any luck? Oh, my leg. I'm looking forward to hearing all about this. Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Hank stole it in hopes you <laughs> you'd all get fired. Then he tried to kill me. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. More dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Still looking to help us out. Oh, Maybe check the grip card. Seek a community center representative to plan your event or regular gathering today. Oh, I'm beat. But that's what happens when you work harder than anyone else. I found the heart of Mars. What? Hold on. You're telling me you actually found the heart of Mars? It's supposed to be harmless prank we send newbies to go find. It's not supposed to actually exist. Yet, here it is. Or at least something resembling the legend. The only way this could happen is if... Damn it! If I gave you the wrong cave coordinates. But whatever you found, it's still impressive. You showed me up on this one. Feel free to keep it, since I'd say you earned it. I don't even know where it is, though. So glad I'm leaving already. Mining's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. I noticed the initial chatting to them is desyncing the mouth movement to voice, which doesn't happen when I'm not streaming. So it seems, yeah, the streaming is affecting it. Great, now that you helped us get that new equipment, what a difference it makes. We're pumping out yields that would have taken twice the crew before. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Are you all good now? Well, that's the idea anyway. Now, if we fail to meet our quotas, it'll be our own fault, and not the bloody machines failing to do their job. Shame we didn't have enough left over to fix old Gnome over there. Would have been nice to have another functional robot around. 
It's fine anyway. I think we've gotten used to that old broken down talking computer just the way he is. See you around. Hello, stranger. I am No. What can I do for you? I can make general announcements and relay messages from one registered miner to another. And I can report about local news. All news and information has been supplied by employees of Deimos's mining operations. <laughs> I also have been programmed with a limited selection of jokes. But I have been told to warn you, they are not good. No doom with this quake. A helpful reminder that subterranean particle fracking has resumed after its recent hiatus. Residents and workers alike are encouraged to heed the warning announcements and brace themselves for any turbulence when the blasts go off. Thankfully, you can rest easy knowing that detonations no longer occur at all hours of the night. Feel free to toss your alarm clocks, however, because they resume bright and early every morning. Why did the snowman need a moist toilet? Because his arms were... sticky. I am registering that you are leaving. Goodbye. A reduced noise ordinance is in effect every night from 2200 hours until 0500 hours the next morning. with Rivka. Who are you? Who are you? Do yourself a favor and just go. Not supposed to talk to you. Watch out for the robots. There's... I don't actually like the company. This is right where I belong. Staying safe? You don't seem like the other Marines. What? Do you mean I'm not miserable like them? Guess not. Yeah, it might not be the most glamorous post and the work can be tough, but it sure beats the hell out of whatever I'd be doing back home. Writing papers, presentations, doing spreadsheets. Nah, that's not for me. I'm happy to be here, and I wish my family would understand that. What made you want to be a Marine? Not sure if I ever wanted to be a Marine per se. This is just where life took me. Growing up, all I ever wanted to do was leave New Atlantis and see the settled systems. Joining up with the Marines was the easiest way to do that. Best decision I've ever made. How do you like being stationed on Sidonia? I don't mind it too much. Things can be rough here, but that's sort of why I like it. I'll admit, though, that I'd like to be stationed somewhere else someday. Not that I don't like it here, but I'd like to see what else is out there. I think I've met your sister in New Atlantis. Yeah, I do remember her. She was very worried. Yep. My family doesn't like that I joined up with the Marines, but nobody's more worried than my sister. I feel bad. Her birthday's actually coming up, but I'm not able to visit her. She's gonna be worrying about me on her birthday. Actually, maybe you can help me with that. Would you mind giving her her birthday presents the next time you're in New Atlantis? What are the presents? A bit nosy, are we? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd like to know what I'm carrying with me as well. I'll pack some Sidonia souvenirs for her. Dumb things. Like some dust and rocks and stuff. She likes those sorts of things. I also wrote her a letter. I just wanted to know that I'm doing okay and that she doesn't have to worry about me so much. Sure, I could do awesome. that. Awesome. You're making my life a whole lot easier right now. Thanks for doing this. And tell her, I said, happy birthday. Take it easy. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. 
Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremor. Detonation occurs. There's nothing like five, seeing old soul four, coming through three, the big window two, in the morning. One. I wish there was something more to do around here. Strength gets out of the way. Rivka! Where are you? <sighs> to get something off my chest. Get over the poor ladder. Goodness, that is dangerous. Okay, like that. There you go. Oh, Alex, what have you done? Is that sweet fragrance of crispy apple? Oh, goodness. Where the heck is Rivka? It says it's on Mars. It says it's at Sidonia. Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people. Make sure to get yourself help before it becomes a problem. My personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? I'm a real expert in the gunner scene. Have to be, since I usually fly solo. I'll knock out any targets we come across. That's a promise. But no worries. Plenty of work left to do in the solar system. Give me a shout if anything changes. Will do. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out of the middle of nowhere? The new equipment is great. We can finally feel like it's working at full speed. Yes. All this was clear. No rigs, no construction. Now, I like a steel girder as much as the next person, but it just isn't the same. Shut up, George. The staircase is fine, but <laughs> um, we lose a lot in the name of progress. Yeah, I guess the only thing progressing here are the numbers on Deimos's bank accounts. Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm out here, I wanted to find a North Star. Why would you want to find a North Star? In the old world, whenever they got lost, sailors would look to a pole star to guide them. I guess that's what I'm looking for. A compass. 
something to point me in the right direction. I was in the way Mars had a North Star. Or, or no. It's out. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. I'm hoping it's just a temporary feeling. But to be honest, I don't know which way is north. True North sits between two constellations Cygnus the Swan and Cepheus the King. Depending on which way Mars tilts, it'll be one or the other eventually. Me? I <laughs> like Cygnus. I'd point you to it. But it's hard to see anything behind all this obstruction. Hmm. I can fly you up. Oh, you're a pilot? Then, yeah, if you don't mind. I love that. Just lead the way. Go to Mars, they said. Just give me a few minutes. I gotta sort something out. BRB.
sorry about that. I am back. She doesn't count as part of the crew, that's good. following me. She better be in the ship. So we're taking off. Let's go talk to you. I think I've made up my mind. I'm leaving Sidonia. I take it you've been thinking about it for a while? Yeah, but it wasn't until I saw Cygnus up close that it really hit me. I guess I should explain. When I was a kid, Dad took me out into the desert to see the constellations. His favorite was Cepheus the King. That was his true north. And well, he wanted it to be mine. But I have to find my own star. Because I'm not a ruler. I'm just... me. And maybe that's okay. Who is your father? Let's just say he works for Deimos. And wants me to go into the family business. But being some mining executive isn't my idea for future. That's his dream, not mine. Hmm. Agreed. Be the best version of yourself. Thanks. Maybe I'm just an optimist, but I think it'll all work out. Whew! Anyway, for now, let's get back to the spaceport. I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> Mars, eh? You always take me to the nicest places. Bruh. Thanks again for doing this. Do you know where you'll go? I don't have 
have a specific place. Thanks to you, I have a direction. <laughs> I didn't do it for free. No, I'm not gonna do that. You really are the best. I'm lucky I met you. Anyway, I'll probably need to save up before I can leave. Can't rely on Dad's curtains anymore. But before I let you go, I've been thinking. This whole time you've been helping me, I never asked about you. Do you have a place or a goal you're aiming for? Not really. Sometimes that's what works best. Take your time, do your thing, and pretty soon, you'll find yourself exactly where you need to be. But whatever and wherever your North Star is, I hope you enjoy the trip. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. You better not die out there. Speak with the Deimos psychologist. That's probably up in the station, right? We actually in Sidonia. rings then it unlocks waste my time Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people make sure to get yourself help before it becomes a problem Mimus Maximus. Shelter, please send them my way. The Sanctum Universum. Why, hello there. I swear I've spoken to you before. We're here to serve the Sidonia community in many ways. While we don't have a belief in a greater power, we have faith in humanity that people will always strive to better the human race. As a community, we come together to help those in need. Food, shelter, Basic amenities will provide because that's what people do for one another. Yes, the enlightened serve as a community centric institution, much like a traditional church, but without religious faith. For it's the community and faith in one another, which is important, not adherence to a particular religious dogma. We'll always be here if you need something or just want to meet people. Actually, before you go, would you mind helping me out with something? I was debating with my dear friend Horace and would like an outside opinion. Okay. He believes that faith in a higher power is what inspires more people to be good. I say that more people do good without any promise of divine reward or retribution. What do you think? Bruh. See your Alex? Ah, that's an interesting perspective. Thank you. I guess when you get down to it, as long as Enjoy people Fortnite. are good to each other, it, it doesn't matter what drives you, you to be good. Else? I'll be sure to share that with Horace. Take care of yourself anyway, sir. Why, hello there. I'll be here if you need guidance. Thanks again for what you did. I know what I need to do now. Out the 
way. Out of my way. Oh, there's nothing like fresh air filters, am I right? Sure. Can you believe some people just throw stuff away when it gets old or busted? What a day, huh? Yep. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> Who are you and what do you do here? We'll get to that. Will you listen to what I have to say first? Okay. Hope you're okay. It's... It's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> oh, it's not money. a matter of money. Oh. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Thanks, I'll try it, but I really should see an actual doctor. It's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. That's generous of you, but the poor girl clearly needs more help. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. What did your father do to you that made you take such drastic measures? After my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me. So he started monitoring everything I did. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. It's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. If my father finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite. It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up into the Reliant database. 
He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. You can pay your father a visit. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <coughs> what do you think? Anything else you can tell me? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until... <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Grew angry, dangerous. He was no longer himself. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. It's worth a try. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> It's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. As much as possible, yes. I intend to patch things up with him and work with him on our mutual issues. I believe with therapy we could repair our relationship as damaged as it is. Or if you discover it is irreparable, at least you could put the fear of God in him and that should deter him from taking further action. There may be, but getting him to listen to you is the key here. And what I've told you is the surest way I can think of. There was a time he had a falling out with his brother, and that whiskey did the trick to bring them back together. With that gift, he will know I am sincere. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Please keep prolonged showers and other water use to a minimum. Do your part to preserve our precious resources. Thank you from the Sidonia Department of Public Works. Shite miner who walks in here, Fen. Stay healthy. Final particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity for the remainder of the day. Detonations to resume tomorrow morning. I know you posted that drawn in my bar. Leave it. Brightens up the place. Just. Ask next time, will ya? I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office. Or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. You paid up.
You don't get it. This whiskey was aged in barrels buried in Martian soil, which leached into it, giving the whiskey its distinct red hue. They don't make this stuff anymore and never will. The exact process was lost. There's a finite amount of this stuff left in the universe. You're lucky I got any at all. Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. Hello, Ben, mate. Welcome. You been well? You're gonna have to be more convincing than that. Well. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? I smell bullshit. Well, you do realize it sounds like you're trying to swindle me here, right? Uh, sorry, not buying your story. You want that whiskey? You gotta pay full price. Final offer. Luckily, I'm rich as hell, so I'll pay. <laughs> Here you go. See? Now, it doesn't matter whether you're lying or not about needing it so badly. Bastard. Persuade it into having a drum or two. Every time I see those drawings... Speak with a Deimos psychologist. Creature with the space helmet. I probably can kill him. It'll probably reset this to zero. Now, where was that psychologist? <laughs> yep, bad negotiator. Nothing's ever easy here. There's no Enhance offers many services. Be safe. She's the only doctor. Hello? Psychologist, psychologist. Mm. I wish there was the... more to do around here. The map says the psychologist is here in this city. If you're here to broker it, time is money, love. So if you've got something to say, then say it. All right, let me get back to work. How's it going? Can I help you? Uh... Surely somewhere in the residential. Citizen. Need to get everything settled. I may be leaping before I look, but I'm still bringing a parachute. I uh, I hope getting that book. So yep. Checked the See you later. Pool. Inside was a Citizen. secret compartment full of every narcotic and illegal neuroamp you can imagine. Peace be with you. Oh yeah. Yeah. They handed it off. Otherwise, Sidonia is not so bad. May not look special. Honest work. Yeah. Good pay. Bye. I can't complain. The heck are you? Careful near the railings little... on the upper levels. Shaken. It's a long way down. I'll be fine. I hope. This is right where I belong. With my family. I don't care what anyone says. This is still a tough assignment. Marine. Marine. The Red Devils used to train here on Mars. 
Imagine being a part of that. Found a clutch of heat leeches, uh, breeding, and the utility section. Minor, I could use Do you ever get songs stuck in your head? Sometimes I have to make up my own. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. Oh, welcome back. Geez, twenty thousand. Well. Oh, oh my. Are you sure? That's my gosh. It's so generous. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Taiyi. Maybe we can afford a better education for him, or get off this planet someday. Then he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. Thank you so much. If I can ever find a way to repay you, I will. How incredibly kind. I'm continuing to learn things about you. Good things. You're truly lucky to have a friend who shows such generosity to a total stranger. I'll never forget this. Who are you talking to? Oh, oh, oh it it's you. All right, later. I can't, for the life of me, find oh, this psychologist. And it's supposed to be somewhere in this damn city. The UC Exchange is a great place to buy your weapons. Just make sure to keep them all. Wasn't clear enough last time, huh? Vets only. Not supposed to talk to you. Vets only. Head doctor is in the same room as Tia Wu and Peter Brennan. Oh crap, where was that? Pardon me. Hello Dylan. Good to see your face. Mentioning it. Another day, another limb or digit to reattach due to an easily preventable work accident. Where is that, George? Same room as Tia Wu and Peter. 
I do and don't remember those names. It's amazing how smoothly ah. our mining operations run with me and Pizza charge. Brennan. There we I go. I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. So it'd be in this room. Okay, I think I know. I just need to wait for... There's like three ladies that work here. One thing I don't like about the waiting or the sleeping is it's no longer a second an hour. Like, sometimes it can take three seconds an hour. This one seems to be speeding up a bit quicker. Maybe I've warmed up to Mars. So take care now. It's not you. Oh. How am I going to get this all done? <coughs> mm. oh, damn it. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. That wasn't directed at you at all. <laughs> I'm just really stressed out at the moment. You're fine. Actually, maybe you can help me. Possibly. I am. Um, I'm aware of what you did for Trevor. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything to Peter. I feel like I can trust you. I'm Gilly. I'm a psychologist working for Deimos, and I've been utterly swamped with work lately, trying to make a deadline. I could use a hand tracking down some of our employees and delivering psychological questionnaires to them. Those psychological evaluations could prove useful to both Deimos what and the, the heck miners is this? themselves. Perhaps we should lend Gilly a hand. Quit hiding over there. It's not as sinister as you think. Basically, Deimos invests heavily in its employees and operations. In order to protect those investments, I was hired to perform periodic psychological evaluations. The company wants to identify potential erratic behavior patterns that might jeopardize the company's investments and work with the employees to correct them. Sounds pretty easy. You can? Oh, wow, thanks. I don't even know who I've got left in the stack, but take a look at the names and track them down. When they've all filled out the forms, just bring them back to me and I'll go through them. Just tell them you're assisting Gilly. Oh, and don't read what they write down. It's supposed to be confidential. Thanks again. Okay. There's always something to do around here. here to keep you safe. If you see something suspicious, don't hesitate to report it to any security officer. Ouch. On days like these, it's hard not to get homesick. Oh, is it that time already? Sure. Let's only take a moment. Potato. Let's see. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. That question again? Well, all right. Okay, that should do it. Here you go. 
Tell her I said hi, will you? Okay. Why did it change? People always ask me what I think about mining. Samun? I'd take a bullet for any miner on this base. Look, normally I wouldn't tell anyone. But I heard from Trevor how you helped us all out. The short answer is that I was a troubled kid. I stole. I accidentally got someone killed. I went to jail for a while, then came out all reformed. Most of the other miners have no idea, and I'd like to keep it that way. And it's fun to hear what kind of crazy theories they come up with. Like, uh, did you know I was a spy sent by House Varun to steal secrets from Demos? Ridiculous stuff like that. Sure, hand it here. Let's see. No. Ten. No. No. Good. No. Oh, there it is. Is that it? <laughs> That's all I needed. Great. See you around. The Office of Acting Governor Woodard would like to remind all Sidonian citizens to do their part to keep Sidonia clean. being down here somewhere. I can't be a part of it. What? Well that's awkward. Oh my god I'm gonna have to <laughs> Oh dear Don't walk in front of a miner's laser To speed run. While I may technically work. Mm. Oh gosh. I am. Um, I'm Gilly. I could use a those psychological. You can. Yep. When they've all. Oh and. Running in front of a miner's laser. Apparently uh, added a bounty onto my head. And everyone started attacking. I have these jetpacks for a reason, you know. Very sad. See you around. Mining. Oh, let's see. Okay, then. Life's good. I can't. Look, the short answer, most of the other, like, uh, sure, let's see, great. Hang on a sec. Those two are here. Mining takes all types. Young upstarts, former military, ex-cons. If you can win, you can mine. Leona, where 
you. trouble for you. Give me that attitude. Leona, where the hell do you go? Chase. Well, I hope you never need it. But come to me if you need medical attention. Ugh, I heard they're making the Starware updates mandatory. in the mining quarters. You can make a real good living working the mines here on Mars. This unit is not designed for pleasant conversation. How's it going? So I guess Woodard is acting up. Thanks again for what you did. I know what I need to do now. Yep, help me find Leona. A psychological evaluation? Are you kidding me? Gilly, I'm the one who ordered this program in the first place. Do I really need to go through with this? I'm well aware, but you are an employee and it is company policy that everyone gets one. Okay, okay, fine. Let me have it. Okay, this isn't so bad. <coughs> Easy. Yep. Mm-hmm. You really want to know that? Huh? Huh? Okay. And... Done. There you go. Remind me to make myself and the other execs exempt from these in the future. We wouldn't be where we are if we were a liability. Well... You're doing me a huge favor. Thanks. You've got all those forms filled out and returned? Anyone give you any trouble, other than Leona? I heard that. That's good to know. But as long as we get some data from this, it's okay. Data. Maybe a poor review will shock them into taking it more seriously. Anyway, thanks again. This is a massive load off my shoulders. I don't normally ask others to do my work, but this is a special case. You really came through for me. So here's a little something for your trouble. 
Many people think psychology is only good for treating past emotional trauma. But I think you and I both know you're not on the payroll place. anymore. Anyway, no harm done. Just have to wait for more applicants to come along. Finally. I think I can get off this damn planet. to get further down this tree so I might as well just get some persuasion in Contraband on ship. Please maintain. Well, this is awkward. Which one's the contraband? <laughs> Prison it is. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. I'll pay the fine. Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. I'm back in Mars again. <laughs> I can never escape Mars.
we were encumbered by two. Friendo, take a look. Shouldn't have any other contraband. Hey, catch you on the flip side. Thanks for Hold up, contraband again. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. Copy that. <laughs> Stay on course. We'll Crap. What is it that's contraband? The red marker stuff is stolen, but that's not contraband. Oh, it's that. This freaking thing. I know what contraband means, mate. This is United Colonies Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And we're done. Feel free to land. to swap companion because there is a guy that's from this place 
I need to check if there's any additional dialogue. Are you here, buddy? If something's on your mind, you can tell me. Oh, must we? I've had this on deck for a while now. It's all yours. Silver, hey, nice. how's it going? Perfect. Let's go. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path, and down into the colony below. Stay safe, and enjoy your visit. New Olmstead is a living history exhibit. But the thing is, are real people... So you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Hey, what's going on? Some other time, then. I still can't believe people actually live like this. Damn powers on the fritz again. Joyce always seems to need help clearing ice off the equipment. It's a little weird that people come here to see what early colony life was like. <laughs> to me, it's just how we live. We get a lot of tourists out this way, but most of them aren't so bold as to strike up conversations with us. What's your deal? Hmm, you seem genuine enough. So what can I do for you? From what I know about farming elsewhere, it's largely the same. Big difference is that we need to import or make our own soil. And we need to be extra careful with our temperature control. Titan's surface is frozen, and it's not much better just below it with the ice caves. Then it's just a matter of artificial sunlight and supplying CO2 for the crops. It's not too challenging. Well, for one, it's my wife Mara's farm. I just had the good fortune of marrying into it. It's been in her family for generations. We're the best source of fresh produce in the colony. Not like that processed junk we get from off-world, and certainly nothing like that eyesore chunks. No worries. You have yourself a day now. Off 
Wolvers always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. Did you know that Earth had all sorts of cool animals? Actually, lots of planets do. But not this one. Sad, huh? Hello. I'm not really supposed to talk with tourists, but I kind of want to anyway. And I don't think my papa is paying attention. You're not going to tell him, are you? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Now I feel like I have to tell him. Oh. It's just my daddy, really. My mama's okay with it. But... Oh... Fine. If you don't wanna, I get it. But, um... I love talking with tourists. So, I'll be here if you still want to talk. I think it's pretty fun. And I get to be around my mama and my papa all day, so that's cool. They say we all have to work a little. Because it takes all of us to make the community work. Just like on Earth a really, really, really long time ago. Someday, I think it'd be cool to see other places and do other things. But this is fine for now. My mama says it's because he thinks we'd up and leave if we found out about the rest of the worlds out there. But I keep telling him, I love it here. And I love him. And I would never leave him. He doesn't believe it. He says the kids almost always want to leave when they grow up. But not me. Nope. I just want to visit somewhere else. Maybe. Not really. There's some, though. Most are around my age. We all go to school in the same room. I don't... I don't know. I've never been to any other schools. We mostly learn about the history of the soul system and Earth and stuff like that. Until we get old enough to go on our learning vacation. That's when we get to leave to go to school somewhere else for a few years. Or travel and visit other worlds, try out jobs and stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. I'm not sure that these space frog pictures fit with Ah, someone new. Are you a tourist or have you just moved to New Homestead? <laughs> oh, you should probably know then that homes aren't the same as where you're probably from. You'd be lucky to own a private room, let alone a whole hab unit of your own, but don't let that scare you away. It's quite cozy and pleasant here. I'm fascinated by the other worlds in the settled systems. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Oh, wonderful. What's New Atlantis like? Might as well be honest. Oh my, that sounds incredible. Ever since I overheard one of the tourists speaking about it, I've always wanted to go. We hear about it, of course, but we rarely get much exposure to other worlds beyond the people who come from them to visit our own little colony. I wonder if I can convince Nathaniel to go on a trip there with me and our daughter. Do you mind if I ask you another question? I don't mind. Thanks. I promise not to take too much of your time. Is the Freestar Collective as lawless as I've heard? It's not as lawless. I figured the stories weren't all true. How else would you expect people to live together if you can't trust in laws to keep everyone safe? Even in a small community like ours, we have to maintain law and order. Though, I understand it gets difficult to always protect that out in the vastness of space. 
I imagine it's the same in the Freestar Collective. Is it okay if I change the subject? Yes. Oh, thank you. Are there really planets full of plants, fresh air, and water? I've read about them. It seems incredible, doesn't it? I've only ever known Titan, and it's always so cold and drab. I've always dreamed of visiting one to breathe the air, feel the warmth of its sun, but my husband is reluctant to leave our home. Can I ask you something else? Sure. Thanks. I promise not to take too much of your time. Is space travel as exciting as it seems? <laughs> well, you've convinced me that I simply must go sometime. Most of us here have never left the surface of New Homestead. It's a point of pride among many people, but I've always been curious. Those are all the questions I have at the moment. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day for me. Do you come from... It'd be nice to get away. Thanks again for taking the time to answer questions for me. I learned a lot I from always you. wonder I what it's like where other... Bye! I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mara. Filling her head with ideas about picking up and leaving home. Well, you got anything to say for yourself? Listen here. Mara's free to make her own decisions. I'm not here to control her if that's what you're insinuating. But that doesn't mean I take kindly to other people manipulating her and telling her the other worlds are full of sunshine and rainbows. We live a simple traditional life here, and it's important to the community that we maintain that. Do you understand? What traditions? Traditions like the way we tend this farm. Strong family ties. Early colonial life. We do it all with the bare minimum technologies to survive. Everything else is hard work done by humans. It's good for humanity's soul. People rely on technology too much. We need to remember how to perform the basics to survive in case we ever find ourselves without said technology. We need to remember where we came from. Earth, this system, lest we forget and repeat the same mistakes as before. We're one of the last colonies charged with that preservation. That's why it's important. We're going to have to agree to disagree then. I only ask that you respect our wishes. I overheard you speaking to my wife. You got any... Listen here, but that doesn't mean we live a simple. Good. I know it's not easy for you types, but this is our home. I'm glad you found it in you to respect that. Hmm. My papa doesn't really like me talking to the tourists, but. How else am I going to learn about for the sake of our little out colony? There. Wait a Residential is that way. New Homestead is that way. Systems office. It's not easy keeping these ancient turbines going. I wish more people realized that.
Oh, hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Oh. <laughs> yep, I get it all right. Yes, I'm in charge of the electrical power here. We generate a lot of wind-based power here on Titan, which is my specialty, so I was tapped to help navigate all the unique challenges we face here. Shocking, I know. Yes, the power shortages we're experiencing. Haven't you seen the flickering lights? This equipment is all very old, and the protections against the cold have worn down, so now? Brownouts, all the time. And I get to deal with it. Hooray for me. You have no idea. Worse, I'm stuck up here overseeing the whole system, and we don't currently have anyone available to go out there and take care of the problem. Well. What's it like working here? Well, I just started this job a few months ago, but I'm loving it, despite all the small frustrations of working on ancient equipment. I came here as a child and did one of the tours. I loved it so much, I jumped at the chance to come back after finishing my studies in energy science. I know it may sound unusual, but I knew what I was getting into with Titan's harsh surface. The challenge is actually one of the things that attracted me to the job. No, New Atlantis, born and raised. It's okay though, I've always liked this quaint little moon. Not that it's actually that little as far as moons go. The people here were a little wary of someone coming in from the outside, but once I changed my name in accordance with their local customs, it went a long way to build trust. And that was fine by me. I feel proud, taking on the name of the Earth City my family came from many, many years ago. Did you see those huge wind turbines out there on your way in? They're our primary source of power generation. Titan's strong winds provide an almost constant source of power, as long as we can keep the machinery from icing over. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job, and I'll admit I'm struggling a little bit. I could use some help. I could use someone who's handy with a laser cutter to break up the ice that's formed on some of the power system machinery out there. That should clear up the shorts we've been experiencing and stop the brownouts. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you showed up then. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue to monitor things from here. I'm really glad you're helping us out. Bye. Marner. Titanium, I need that. Sweet, sweet. 
with titanium. Jeez, is that a frozen lake? It's huge. That wasn't so difficult. Careful not to damage the equipment with the power systems all look as good as they can be for now. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too much of a pain in the butt. Thanks again for clearing away that ice. Things are running. See you. See you. up if you're planning on going to chunks luther's been bothering anyone with a ship for help welcome to vault tech what well, did you know the museum here is full of old earth artifacts cool huh those folks in Sidonia may be closer to earth different chunks but we do a better job preserving its traditions am i glad they have a chunk here poster somewhere else here. Thanks for choosing Chunks. Which Chunks can I get for you? Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great Chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? So, what's your favorite chunk? Oh, 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 you had to go and ask the hard questions, huh? Uh, how can I pick just one? Just choose one. Chicken chunks, beef chunks, potato chunks, cheesesteak chunks, cheesecake chunks. I... You know what? I'm going to cheat, if you don't mind, and just say I love them all equally. <laughs> you really seem to love chunks, huh? <laughs> you know I do. 
And what's not to love? Do it's I? delicious, nutritious, easy, fast, inexpensive. It, it sure makes my hungry belly sing for joy. Yeah. My wife thinks I eat too much chunks food, but I just can't help myself. It's so good. New homestead all about authentic living history. What's chunks doing here? <laughs> well, people gotta eat, you know. Uh, but seriously, I think we're just starting to get with the times a little. And I can't think of a better restaurant than Chunks to usher that in. I think corporate just saw New Homestead as an untapped market. I mean, the locals may not eat it, but the tourists love having a taste of home. And now of Chunks special sauce? Sounds like a problem. If I'm completely honest, it is. And people are always saying how this Chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? <laughs> well, that's too bad. Is the sauce really that important? You bet it is. You may not hear people talk about it, but trust me, it's the secret ingredient. It's like the glue that holds it all together. I mean, not literally. I'm not saying it's glue or, or that our food falls apart. It's delightful. Tangy, savory, it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. And I've noticed that once people find out we don't have it, sometimes they don't return. It's the reason business isn't as good as other chunks. Is there a reason chunks doesn't just send you the sauce? For real? Good question. Now, they haven't said, but I think it has something to do with them prioritizing other chunks over mine. I guess it's made at a different facility than our other food. And they don't even want to pay the shipping cost to ship from another store to ours. And sometimes I get lucky and a cargo hauler passes through with a route that takes them near other chunks and back again. But there's no guarantee. I guess I'll have to do it. Wait, for real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. I'll tell the people you'll be right back with the special sauce. Let's not keep them waiting, okay? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm sending you to the Chunks in Aquila City. And you want to talk to whoever's at the front counter about that case of sauce. They should be expected. Thanks for visiting Chunks. They'll see me in a few weeks. Well, I can't imagine living here. These people sure What did we think of the tour? Very informative. I didn't know about the methane harvesters before coming here. The, um, Brown Horse Tavern was it, huh? The food was better than I expected from a backwoods planet like this. It has a quaint charm, doesn't it? Just like the rest of New Homestead. Well, I hope you'll come back and see us again sometime. And I hope you'll consider another Star Sap tour. Tell your friends. Bye. We will. Thanks again. That was a fake Excuse smile. Excuse me, Bill. You've got to do a better job of keeping your tour groups out of trouble. What do you mean? That little boy almost wound up on my operating table. Claudio said he was playing with some of the machinery down by the mines and nearly got his arm stuck inside. It could have been ripped off. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, kids, little troublemakers. I'll tell the guests to be more careful. Damn right. You've got to do something. Or else next time it happens, I'm billing you personally. Yeesh. Ah, oh, to lay eyes on the earth just once. Hello there. Are you here to peruse our little museum exhibit? Wonderful! These are all rare artifacts from before the collapse of Earth. There isn't much of this stuff left outside of private collections, but here we're happy to share a glimpse of them with the public. 
If you have any questions about the exhibit or New Homestead, I'm happy to answer as best as I can. Enjoy the rest of your stay in New Homestead. An instrument. Hello there. Yes, can you Wonderful. look at me? There isn't, if you have. It's an interesting story. New Homestead began as a scientific research base called the Titan Astro Base, back when space travel was in its infancy. The hope was that humanity would be able to discover simple alien life here given the moon's composition and water supply. When that ultimately failed, it was repurposed as a colony research base where scientists and engineers studied how to build colonies on inhospitable worlds. Then finally, when gravity drives were commonplace and we started finding Earth-like planets, New Homestead was born as a living history community to preserve that past. I'm hearing a tune in the background. I am Maurice Leon, and I am the community elder. As the oldest living citizen at 96, Jeez. my only job is to keep Earth history alive. You don't look I it. tell stories to the young people and the visitors from other worlds. Although my memory isn't what it used to be, I try my best to get the stories right. When our early colonists learned of Earth's demise, they decided to take on the names of their cities of origin as a way to remember their heritage. Now, some may have been lost in translation over the years, and some may have taken it more seriously than others, but the names are mostly accurate. For instance, my family comes from the city of Lyon, in a country that was called France. Of course, certainly. We have several items in our collection that we rotate in and out over time, but they all originate from the same place. Earth, we have Everything from toys to antique technology to sports memorabilia. We even used to have an old Earth vehicle, but we had to sell it when we ran out of space for it. Most of our collection was donated by fellow Earth enthusiasts and historians who felt it belonged close to the homeland here in the Soul System. Sure, I'd love to. There was once a war so big that they say all of the world was involved. This was actually the second time it happened. They fought because a terrible man named Hitler mm. rose to power and slaughtered many innocents. Millions were lost. Even the colony war pales in comparison. Oh dear. Why, certainly. It's what I do. There was a time when huge monstrosities called dinosaurs ruled over Earth long before humans existed. They were similar to some of the larger life forms you might see elsewhere in the settled systems. Their reign ended when a. Uh, I. I never remember if it was a comet, an asteroid, or a meteor that hit the Earth. Whatever it was, it nearly wiped out most of the life at that time. 
Hmm. Let me think of a good one. A long time ago, thousands of years, humans built a wall so large it spanned the northern length of one of Earth's largest empires, China. They called it the Great Wall of China. And it was meant to keep out invading hordes. If I recall correctly, it didn't always work as well as they had hoped. I'll have to look it up again. Memory's not what it once was. Thanks for visiting. Man, I was exhausted. Sports. Commercial reproductions of Earth fauna. Oh no. Replicas of Earth animals. You don't want to get hurt or sick around here. Dr. Lakota really doesn't care for tourists. Wish someone could convince her otherwise. Welcome to my little shop. Well, hello there, and welcome to my little shop. Are you visiting New Homestead for the first time? I cannot overstate how important it was for all of humanity. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. It happens to the best of us, I guess. I'm Jay. I'm happy to help you find what you're looking to buy or take a look at whatever you want to sell. Trades of all kinds are welcome here. Or if you have any questions for me about the shop, the merchandise, or even just new homestead in general, I'm happy to help you. Do you sell any souvenirs? We used to, but not anymore. Believe it or not, the new homestead tourism board decided a while back to do away with souvenirs. We don't really have the resources or facilities to make them here ourselves, and it was decided that anything less than that would seem exploitive of our people and inauthentic. Only thing we have are these souvenir slates about the history of New Homestead. Tell you what, I've got an extra one here that another guest left behind a while back. You can have it. Oh, cheers. I love them. Uh, most of us in New Homestead appreciate what tourism does for our economic livelihood, so we go out of our way to make guests feel welcome. Some are indifferent about it, while a few others, I won't name names, are downright resentful of all the tourists and would prefer to be left alone. But that being said, I believe but our generally friendly demeanor is a large part of what drives people to keep coming back. Glad you asked. I'm looking for all sorts of things, anything really. Uh, clothing, weapons, jewelry, even stuff they consider junk. <laughs> you name it. We don't get a lot of off-world stock, so I offer to buy things from travelers. Anything they're willing to part with. Between you and me, people around here talk a lot about tradition and whatnot, but even they get curious about what other worlds have to offer. Sure thing. I'm also interested in buying if you have anything for sale. Enjoy the rest of your day. Did you see those wind turbines out there? Wow. I'm learning so much here. Everyone should... Commissioned by the British Royal Navy. This at least once in their life. HMS Beagle. Wise words, Dylan. Wise words. Don't stay outside for two. 
long here on Titan. You'll freeze solid without the proper protection. Star Sap Doors! Just see me, Bill Star Sap. If you want a truly one of a kind touring experience of New Homestead! Ooh. It's so cold here. <coughs> I guess I should have expected that. Lots to learn at the United Colonies oh, Premier ha, ha, Living Dylan. History Exhibit. If you need a guide, I'm your guy. Why would I want a tour of New Homestead, she says. Well, let me tell you, New Homestead is living history. These people are direct descendants of some of the first settlers to leave Earth. If you've ever wanted to know what that early colonial life was like, this is your chance to embark on a fun-filled exhibition unlike any other. But Star Sap? <laughs> None taken. I get it all the time. If you think it sounds made up, well, that's because it is. I come from an eccentric family. Back in the early days of space travel, generations ago, my ancestors were really into science fiction. They wanted a name that seemed like it fit into the stories they grew up with, so they changed their last name, and the Star Sap family name was born. Used to be Bramblefoot before that. Their ancestors liked a different type of fiction. <laughs> Definitely check out the Brown Horse Tavern. Good food, great atmosphere. Avoid spending too much time outdoors. It's freezing out there. <laughs> Any more than that, and well, I'd be giving away the tour for free. Let's get it over with. Excellent! You won't regret it. My tours are one of a kind. <laughs> now, there's just the matter of price. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. <laughs> To ah, well, <laughs> 100 credits is very reasonable, I think. That is like 10 p. Uh, did I? I don't think well. it's so unreasonable to mention the price after the pitch. Well. I don't usually do exposure, but you certainly seem like a well-traveled individual. Maybe it'd be good for business. Tell you what, I like you. This one's on the house, but if you enjoyed the tour, I'd really appreciate if you'd tell all your friends about me when it's done. So let's get this show on the road, eh? All no, right, you, George. So, this is New Homestead's main concourse. This underground area didn't exist when the original outpost, Titan Astro Base, was finished in 2130. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. But first, let's go see where people live. Now remember, these people aren't actors. They actually live here, so try to be respectful of that. While the original inhabitants of the Titan Astro Base lived in pods like you saw up above, they transitioned down here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. Space is extremely limited, so you'll notice some overflow here, but more residences also exist on lower levels, which are inaccessible to tours. I'll stop at each of our destinations if you want to look around, or if you have any questions for me. Have any questions so far? How many people live here? I'm not sure the exact count, but New Homestead is a fairly small colony. What you see is what you get for the most part, except for some other people who live in the private lower levels. Some, particularly security, and yours truly, even commute from other worlds. Commute? <laughs> Can you tell me more about how people lived before this was all built? The original Titan Astro Base had more habitation pods on the surface connected to some of the old structures you may have seen in the back. 
As the colony grew, the base was expanded underground, and those HAB units were recycled into materials used down here. Looks cramped. Sadly, it's difficult to get additional construction done inside these underground caverns. So for now, additional populations are housed in these stacks of old shipping crates. As you might expect, this is where some of the less wealthy can afford to live. It's not glamorous, but they are functional and cozy. Oh, sure, I'll be here waiting. <laughs> the locals love to talk with tourists, but they'll let you know if they're busy. So please respect them. You just wait here then. Ah! I have so much energy! I want to run around! I kind of want to try food from that junk place. But the heck I is this? Hmm. Even though we don't have shiny new medical facilities, I imagine it's easier than wherever you're from. We have fewer people here, and we're very responsible when it comes to our personal health and welfare. So there's not much I can't handle. For anything else, we can get access to off-world specialists. Contrary to popular belief, we're not primitive. It's a harsh world, but as long as you're inside or wear a suit when going out, you'll be fine here. There's no breathable air on the surface, and you'll quickly freeze to death outside without protective gear, but otherwise the hazards are minimal. New Homestead was an early colony research base and has stood the test of time. It's safe, and it's proof that people can live pretty much anywhere. Don't worry so much. I don't. They make a mockery of New Homestead culture. And on top of it, they're reckless. It's like I said before, I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Actually, maybe there is. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown, instead of myself. I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. Hmm. So I bought a realistic monster costume. The plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will take enough of a dive to give me some relief. <laughs> I don't care if it works, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> That's the spirit. To be honest, I'm not sure it'll work either. But I feel like there's no harm in trying. Here's the costume. I think this will work best on the surface. So just find a group and run up to them, acting like a convincing alien monster. With any luck, they'll run screaming and book the next flight out of here. I'll treat you if you need it. But please, try to be more careful around here. Skates. <laughs> I bought it from a private seller. They said they got it from someone who wore it in a secondary school as their sports team mascot. I guess it was supposed to be a tardigrade or something. Anyway, the person I bought it from modified it a bit so they could use it in an independent movie they were making. But I guess that went nowhere, so they had to sell it. Look at me, I suppose. Be well. Tardigrade. <laughs> Good lord. What a costume. That is a big costume. <laughs> oh, goodness. Don't be afraid to do whatever you can to make that monster feel extra convincing. Just don't hurt anyone. Okay. 
Okay. Hey. Oh, you, you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Besides, I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. You do? I mean, sure. I don't know what I can tell you, but if you want to talk, I don't have anything else I need to do right now. It's not as bad as you'd think. I like talking to off-worlders, especially people my age. It gives me ideas for what I want to do when I'm done with school. Because, honestly, I'm not sure I want to stay here. It'll always be my home, but as soon as I can afford to, I'd love to explore my options. Well, I'm trying to finish up my undergrad schooling, actually. I want to be a physicist like my grandmother. Then, who knows what. But I also do some odd jobs here or there for money. Sometimes I help Jay out at his shop, and he gives me stuff in return. Sometimes I help Anya clean up at the brown horse when she's short-staffed. That sort of thing. <coughs> the crates are what we call the living quarters for the poor people. Like me. They're made from old shipping containers. We have to make do with the space we have here. They're comfortable enough, I guess. And no one on Titan is well off to begin with. But you can tell that people look down on us. Especially some of the tourists. Okay, well, no. Not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself. But I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself. Even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate. And when I do, my grades suffer. I just feel like I'll be stuck in a rut forever. Well, lucky for you. Consider this a scholarship. What? Really? I, I don't know what to say. This is beyond kind of you. I mean, I don't even know you, but... Wow. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm rich. See you around, maybe. to get more tourists than we do these days. Very shoddy. Have any questions so far? Alrighty, we'll be taking the residential elevator to the farms area on the surface level. This way, please. Let's leave these good people alone for now and go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> Hehehe 
Yeah, I don't mind the tourists. They help the local economy. You get used to the methane processing smell after a while. Wow, that's some costume you've got there. Oh, yeah. Hey, you need something? Go ahead, I'm all ears. Take it easy. Any questions about the farms? Papa, you're always talking about how important it is to preserve our traditions. But why do we have to farm? How is that part of our tradition? Well, we tend to farm here because we need to grow food. And that's what our ancestors did on Earth. But didn't they have big open fields and giant machines? We don't have any of that. She makes a good point, dear. Uh... It's because we have a much smaller space to work with. So then, it's not really the same, is it? How is it a tradition if it's not the same thing as they did? And so then, why is it important that we preserve it? I don't know, it just Hey, is. no rush. No, we don't want to fall behind our work, so let's get back to it, okay, kiddo? Okay. Good question. It's largely the same, because this was the colony that pioneered the techniques you see elsewhere. But you'll notice that the farms here are smaller and staffed by humans, not robots. Things here are a little more old-fashioned compared to some of the large factory farms you'll find elsewhere in the settled systems. These days, it's a mix of what you find elsewhere in the galaxy, but in the olden days, it was all brought over from Earth. It was a lot of hardy root vegetables like potatoes, carrots, beets, and such, supplemented with corn, peas, green beans, soy, etc., which didn't always grow as well. Oh, they are indeed. Colonists still cultivate plant-based food for their own consumption here in New Homestead. It's less vital to their survival these days, as they also import supplemental food from other colonies, including meats, dairy, and synthetics. However, most citizens here take pride in a new homestead-grown, sustainable diet. Onward it is! <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sourced ingredients in their cooking. But for now, it's just a short way to our next stop. Follow me! So, Interesting the old bio labs are Very just spooky. on the other side of this building, believe it or not. We'll step on through the hallway there. They're not in use anymore, but the colony has faithfully recreated them as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astro Base. Sadly, they're undergoing some light renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. Hope you're not looking to cause any trouble in that costume of yours. Pardon the dust, but I can still answer some questions about the old Titan Astrobase Biolabs. Funny you should ask! <laughs> Sadly, none. See, NASA funded the Titan Astrobase project because conditions seemed ripe for primordial life to form in Titan's methane pools. They tested many different sites, performed deep core ice drilling and more, yet nothing turned up.
Well, NASA defunded the xenobiology program in 2132, but a scientist by the name of Catherine Neely proposed research into advanced colony building on inhospitable worlds. So, by 2135, work began on what would ultimately set us all up to create habitats anywhere humans dared to explore. These very labs housed the computer systems used in that research. That and general storage for the colony. Lots of storage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot to mention that. That's what this place was originally called. When NASA divested its interest in the Astro Base and turned it over to the people back in 2185, they renamed it New Homestead and established it as a historical site. You got it. On to our next stop. Next, we'll be heading outside, so make sure to check those seals on your suit because it's a bit chilly out there. <laughs> We're going out into the frozen wastes of Titan to see what powers this planet. Watch your step outside, by the way. The ice can be slippery if you're not careful. The goal is to keep people out of Dr. Lakota's infirmary. Some dangerous areas around here that anyway, are where were not we? part of any. <laughs> oh, yes. Powering new homestead. As you might imagine, generating energy was a real challenge back in the day because the technology was much more crude then. But crude or not, it was that technology that sustained the old Astro Base. And it might surprise you to learn that the same technology is still working today. The interesting thing about this old colony is that it's mostly powered by clean, renewable energy. You'll see one of the methods used on the horizon up ahead. That's right! New Homestead's famous wind farms! This spot was chosen for the colony in part because of its constant winds. Turbines have been integral to the colony's function since its establishment as a cheap, mostly reliable source of electricity. So, let's talk about wind power, shall we? You're right. Most surface wind on Titan isn't too terribly strong, but here, the altitude and other conditions are perfect for sustained wind power. Like many worlds with atmosphere, the higher you go, the windier it gets. You're looking at a piece of history! Sure, wind power is used throughout the galaxy, but these people were able to make do with it for hundreds of years! It's impressive that was all they had back then, and still make it work to this day! Mostly. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed the occasional brownouts. I guess these old machines have a habit of freezing up, what with all the ice out here. There's some methane on reserve for critical life support systems, but everything else here is otherwise powered by the units you see here. Hmm. You're the boss. Let's go. Moving right along, we're going to learn about Titan's great natural resources. Titan is rich with hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Surely you saw huge pools of the stuff on your descent into New Homestead. I like to think they add to the natural beauty of this world. Though, of course, stay away from them because, like anything beautiful, they can be dangerous. Just like my last ex-wife's pet. <laughs> she had this gorgeous, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, 
creature. <laughs> the guy that sold it to her couldn't tell her what it was or where it was from. I don't think it was even a legal sell, to be honest. The thing was very easy on the eyes. Feathers, all the colors of the rainbow. Nasty bite, though. Wound up in the hospital and almost lost my hand. Still not enough for her to get rid of the dang thing. <laughs> anyway, there's a reason she's my ex-wife. But enough about me! <laughs> we were talking about methane and other resources, right? Can you believe it? Back in the 20th century on Earth, they used to fight wars over natural resources like this and petroleum. They have this whole moon here basically made of hydrocarbons in their own backyard. They just couldn't get to it. Incredible how far we've come. New Homestead is home to one of the oldest and largest methane processing plants in the settled system. Every year, UC engineers go through a painstaking, long-long maintenance process. It's how this place has remained operational as long as it has. I'm not gonna take you too close to the machinery, liability and all, but I can still answer questions. Questions? Fire away! <laughs> It's not as if they shut down for a month. It's not shut down at all, actually. See, this place is built with redundant systems, so they can shut it down piece by piece and suffer only a reduction in throughput. During that time, the UC gets more of its resources from other places, allowing New Homestead to maintain what it needs. Exports, mostly, since this world is so methane rich and has the infrastructure for it, a lot of the UC's methane comes from Titan. Of course, new homesteaders use it themselves for everything from generating heat to turning it into breathable oxygen by a modern science! Oh, uh... No one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> I, um... Uh, hmm. uh, something to do with Methane-eating microbes, I believe? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Okie dokie, artichokey. There will be time for more later anyway. So, this next stop is a bit of an interesting one. I only recently made it part of the tour. Fun fact, it's also the only natural landmark on the tour. What we're about to see is a glacial fire we affectionately call Emir's Horn. This colis used to be named after a character in a popular fantasy novel, but it was changed a couple hundred years ago to avoid any potential litigation. Now, what's a colis, you might say? Colis derives from the Latin word for hill, and scientists only gave names to groups of hills on a planet's surface. So in reality, the term you hear more often is the plural, colis, with an E. You probably don't hear it very often where you're from, because it was usually a term reserved for unexplored planets, back when they didn't have the technology to describe what they were seeing firsthand. Because of that, the term is much more common in the Sol system, but you may still hear it occasionally in reference to uncharted worlds. This planet's full of them, though, and they like to preserve that history here. So here it is, Emir's Horn. You're free to take a closer look if you like. According to ancient Norse mythology, Emir was the first Jotun, a frost giant. In the legend, they were both male and female and gave birth to the progenitors of all giants from their armpits. Emir even predated the Norse gods, who, as it turns out, killed Emir to fashion the Earth and all of humanity from the corpse. It's a fascinating story, and the horn here is a fitting tribute to it. I've heard this particular formation was caused by an ancient volcano. Something about steam and wind, then worn down over time. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. 
Excellent. On to the next stop, then. So, we're gonna head back inside, through the methane processing plant. Try not to touch anything on your way. We want to make sure to respect Dr. Lakota's wishes to be safer around here. Ah, that brings me to another point. You'll notice the people around here have last names related to where their families originated from on Earth as a way to remember the past. The museum curator, Maurice Leon, has more information about that if you're interested. You can find him inside the main concourse. Loves talking about it. You'll find most of the locals here are very friendly to tourists like yourself. Tourism is a major draw to this colony these days, and they respect that. Most of them are happy to talk at length about what they do here. Their rugged lifestyle is a point of pride for a lot of these folks. It's a natural spring where water bubbles up from deep below. But due to the cold, it keeps freezing. can I tell you about the ice mines? <laughs> can I drink straight from the I sword? wouldn't recommend it. First, it's an active work site. Second, it still needs to be filtered and checked for contaminants. But don't worry, we'll stop somewhere for refreshments before the tour is over. Good question. I believe it has something to do with not wanting to contaminate the water with methane and other chemicals. The ice helps prevent impurities in the water. At least this is what I've been told. Not all. Some water is created as a byproduct of methane processing, but that's usually saved in the emergency reserves. Keep going then. We have just one more stop before we're done with the tour, and it just happens to be my favorite. This colony is home to the longest running establishment still in existence the Brown Horse Tavern. The Brown Horse started as a simple mess hall for the scientists and workers when the underground was built, but it's been operated by the same family ever since. Now, what's a horse, you might say? They were a large four-legged animal on Earth, often used for transportation or manual labor. Long before space travel was even a dream for the folks of Earth, even before antique machines like automobiles were possible, 
Horses could be found everywhere. You might have seen them in old movies or read about them somewhere. If not, I highly recommend looking into them sometime. They're beautiful animals. The tavern's original owner was infatuated with them, from what I understand, and named the place in their honor. The moniker, Brown Horse Tavern, is also a throwback to names of similar Earth restaurants hundreds of years but before it was established. It That delicious smell is making me hungry. <laughs> Can I answer anything about the brown horse? Anya Seattle is the current owner of the brown horse. It's been in the Seattle family for generations. But Anya will be able to tell you more herself. Feel free to ask her. It doesn't feel right coming from me when she's standing right over there. Ooh, that's a tough one. I honestly love everything Anya serves here. I'd be doing her a disservice to recommend one dish over another. You want the real answer? Order one of everything. <laughs> Easy. All the other ones fell to ruin when we abandoned Earth. There were technically older ones on Mars, but those have long since shuttered or been replaced. Okay, then. All right, we're headed to the last stop, right back where we began. Feel free to check out the museum exhibit in the main concourse here. These displays are full of rare earth trinkets salvaged from before humanity left, and Maurice is happy to talk about the collection. The museum's curator, Maurice, will be happy to talk to you if you want to know more. Well, that's that. I hope you enjoyed Star Sap Tours as much as I enjoy giving them. <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I really appreciate it. You know, I rely on tips from good people like you, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your stay in New Homestead. Take care! Thank you. Warm food, cold drinks, what else could you want? Welcome, I'm Anya. Is this your first time with us at the Brown Horse Tavern? Huh. I thought dining at the oldest restaurant in the settled systems would leave an impression. You must really get around the universe. We've got an assortment of food and drinks, some of which follow homemade recipes that have been passed down over hundreds of years. So, what can I do for you? How about those brownouts last week? I know. I'm just <laughs> Oh, hardly. The locals pretty much stay away from chunks, so whenever they don't feel like cooking themselves and want a fresh meal, they come to me. Only the tourists eat that junk. Oh, but don't tell that to my husband. He manages the chunks. I love him, but... He's a bit of a fanatic about it. You mean, the brown horse? Well, it's only the longest continuous running restaurant since humans started settling outside of Earth. There's a lot of history within these walls. And some damn fine food and drink, if I say so myself. This place has been in my family for generations. My great-great, the... Well, however many great-grandmother opened it when the first colony started on Titan. Back then, it was a simple mess hall that she chose to put a little extra love and flavor into. And now, it's the pride of New Homestead. Let me show you what we have.
Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Hi there. Always nice seeing a new face. Sure would be nice. To Lots get off of history world here. If you're into that sort of thing. Off-worlders always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. What's back here? What the fuck? Seeing a new face. Yeah, that would it's be a little awkward. weird that people come here to see what early colony life was like. To me, it's just how we live. NASA. Welcome to New Homestead. The people here live a simple life. Try not to complicate it. This was the methane. Lots of history. Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth, but we do a better job of preserving its traditions. Stand. For instance, anyhow, if you have, take care. Nah, I'm all right. Scared tourists. Where are they? 
you get used to the methane process and smell after a while. If I could really go for some of Anya's cooking over at the front We used to get more tourists than we do these days. They look like tourists. Yup, tourists. Very underwhelming. Uh, I just got a message. Looks like we got another leak in sector three. Look, I know what I'm asking you to do is pretty silly. See, sometimes silly ideas are worth the effort. I'm just happy I was able to find someone willing to help with this ridiculous idea. Tell you what, if you want to come back later and do this for me a couple more times, I'll even let you keep the costume. You wouldn't believe how many offworlders think hiking the surface of Titan is all fun and games. But a lot of thrill seekers end up in my office. Stay safe. If you take one of those, try to be careful out there. I want to do it again. You wouldn't believe Give how that many costume. holders think hiking this. I bought it from a private seller. I guess it was, but I guess that one though. Hmm. We have fewer... For anything else, be well. Well, in any case, I'm going to stop it here. I've done the time, but I won't do the crime. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. It has been an honor. And I will see you in... Ben stream tomorrow. Take care for now. Goodbye.